So, a good RPG needs some cool action to use. Here's how I structured those in my Godot project. In my database singleton, I made a dictionary holding all the action information. Each of those need at least a name to display and a target type, which is a simple string that the button scene parse to create the correct target buttons. After that, the action may have either damage percentage and effects. The damage percentage will scale accordingly the damage output of the combatant, and if absent, the action will deal no damage. Effects are additional properties of the action that will be inflicted to the target, which can be either negative or positive. For example, an effect can heal the target or give it a damaging status like bleed or poison. It can also create stat buff or debuff, which can change the stat value of the target. An action can also have self effects, which are pretty much the same, but they are applied to the action user instead of the target. Once you choose an effect for the action, you will need to specify its type and its relative parameters. For example, the heal effect will only need an amount of healing, while a bleed status will require a third duration, an aim to display, and an amount of damage to deal. Status and buff will also get displayed by the UI and will have a tooltip with a description of their effect. Thank you for watching this small guide for my RPG template project. You can find the GitHub page in the description. It's under MIT license, so you can basically steal and paste into your project with no remorse at all. If you feel generous, you can even donate to my coffee page. See you in the next video.